Tana River County has been reeling from resurgence of cholera cases since the first case was reported last December. Boca areas recorded the latest case with a nurse in charge at the Garissa County Referral Hospital, Hassan Abdullahi, confirming that rapid diagnosis test and stool culture carried out on the five patients turned positive. Also, Kikuyu MP Kemani Ishungwa has recorded a statement to the police expressing fears over his life. This after one of his workers was accosted by a gang who demanded to know the whereabouts of the legislator. David Karanja, who is nursing stab wounds, says the gang had offered to give him two million shillings if he endorsed their plan. That I have made to the police uh, and the CID that uh, these threats uh, to me have a bearing and a large bearing to local Kikuyu politics revolving around those who may think if you are not able to unseat me in 2017 probably there is an easier and quicker way of doing that. It may revolve around the Kiambu County politics and uh, the obvious battles that you have seen uh, for accountability and transparency in uh, this county. It may also have a bearing around a theft of public resources. In Kajiado, Central Organization of Trade Union Secretary General Francis Atuli has faulted the Kenya Tea Growers Association management over the ongoing worker strike in Kericho. Atuli took issue with the employer for allegedly failing to honor a 30% salary increment despite a ruling by the industrial court. Finally, residents of Sabatia in Elda Maravin are bewildered of a mystery find of a cow's footprint and marks of a spear imprinted on a stone surface. The footprints, which are believed to have been there for hundreds of years, include a spear mark of a man who is believed to have been herding the cows. The residents are now calling for archaeological study on the rare spectacle to ascertain its history for the benefit of future generations.